Hello YouTube and welcome to a new tax laws video. We continue with a brand new Xiaomi Redmi 5 Plus or the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5. Those devices are exactly the same. Xiaomi is only naming them differently on different parts of the world. So first of all, we got our nano SIM card, which we'll put into the device and we do the setup. Then we have a quick tour around. What about display quality, camera, uh, fingerprint sensor, performance, how much free storage we got on the device, which apps are pre-installed and, and, and. So first of all, take the SIM card tool out of the box or grab your own. Uh, the SIM card slot is located on the left side of the device. Just push it in, pull the tray out. And then you have the choice to put in one card, two nano SIM cards, or one card and one micro SD card. The chip must be down and the corner of the SIM card are down on the right side. So this way, then slide it back in and push the on-off button on the right side and keep pushing it. Push it, push it until you feel the vibration, which was a really nice vibration. And then the device will boot. We see the Xiaomi logo and then we get Xiaomi and me.com. And now be prepared to see the smallest powered by Android logo I've ever seen on any device. So this is really, really tiny. So, and after the booting, we see the Mi UI 9, a lightning fast, and then hit the next button, and then choose your language. I just choose English, United Kingdom is fine, and then hit next, and don't hit some arrow down here because then it's back. Uh, choose your region. I'm at the moment here in Germany, so I look for Germany, and again, next and then connect to network. If you already got a network connection and you want to use your mobile data, uh, data to do the setup, then you can skip it. But I'm at home, I choose my Wi-Fi. Uh, then you have to put in your Wi-Fi pass password and hit connect. And then you hit next again. So you have to push the button or it <laughs> won't go it any further. So you have to agree to the terms and con uh, conditions. And then it got Google. Do you got Google? This was the MIUI part or the first MIUI part. This is now the Android or the Google Android part. So if you want to use, use Google, use the Google services, use the Google Play Store and all the stuff, then you have to log in with your Google account. So your Google email and your Google email password. Then Google services. Do you want to use it for backup and storage? You can turn this on or off. Then agree if you want to use it. Uh, then there's Xiaomi again. Uh, do you have a Xiaomi account? Do you want one or you just can skip it? Uh, Xiaomi is again giving you the same as Huawei or Samsung. They all want to give you, get you, get to give you more stuff that you can use, but I don't want to use it, so I just skip it. And yes, you can just later connect to your Google uh, to your Xiaomi account or set one up if you want to. Then set password, fingerprint, online screen lock, uh, only screen lock, or you just can hit next and don't use any. I say fingerprint and I want to use it additional because you can use, or most of the time you will use your fingerprint, but and sometimes you have to unlock the device another way. Maybe, or maybe you want another person to unlock here the device, which only goes if you give them your pattern, pin or password, but you can't give them your fingerprint. So I just choose pin. Uh, remember your password. Oh, this is nice. We get a little countdown. And then be sure you don't forget your pin or pattern or password. I just choose one, two, three, four, five. Then you have to confirm your password and then locate the fingerprint on the back side, push on it, and then you feel a vibration, a vibration, and then you lift your finger and just put it back down. And you just keep lifting and putting it back down for a couple of times. And then the setup will tell you, move your finger slightly. So then you make sure you scan the, the sides of your finger, your fingertip, and, and, and. So move your finger around and make sure you scan other parts of your finger as well. So edit successfully. Next. Now additional settings. What do you want to do? Allow apps to access your location. Use experience. User experience program. No, I don't want to send diagnostics. No. And then a big question is, do you want to install uh, MIUI updates automatically? I just say, yes, do this. Improve uh, location accuracy. This is again the thing from Google. Uh, Google is asking the same thing. I say no thank you. And then you have to make a choice between two themes. 
the standard theme uh, we know from UI or the limitless version, uh, which do you prefer better? So this is more standard Xiaomi. This is most like, looks like a little bit more like Android. I say limitless and I say next. So setup complete, we are ready to rock theme applied and here we go. Okay, this took a little bit longer than expected. So here we go. Uh, this is the setup, or oh, this is the home screen. <laughs> And first of all, we head over to settings and find out how much free storage do we still got. So storage, there we go. Available 24.08 gigabytes of 25 gigabytes. So we got roughly nine gigabytes from the 32 gigabytes are left. But of course it's not 32, it's only 30.2 which are available. So well, this is a nice nice value. So eight, six, eight gigabytes are used which is still a lot, but uh, just look at it. Three, nearly 400 megabytes are still used from other apps, which you could delete. Then you get uh, around 5.5, which is really, really nice. So thumbs up for Xiaomi. Then which apps are pre-installed? Of course, we get Xiaomi's own app, a weather app, a gallery app, theme app, but, uh, security, we got tools like context, clock, screen recording, uh, feedback compass, and this stuff. Um, they got their own calendar app, Explorer, Mi Video, Notes, uh, more apps, which is the WPS office, okay. Uh, and we got the remote app, if you want to use the infrared sensor on top to uh, operate your TV, or, for example. And this is the Xiaomi stuff, but we also get the uh, uh, Google stuff. So all your lovely Google apps are pre-installed. Google, Chrome, Gmail, Maps, YouTube, Photos, you can use them all out of the box. And we also got the Google Play Store, so you can just use this to, to download apps. Then this is number one. Now, number two, what about the display? Let's see, we got, there's a good display. Brightness level, we turn auto brightness down and pull screen brightness to maximum. Oh, look at this. This, yes, there are still some reflections, but the full brightness is definitely fighting against those reflections. And I have to say, uh, brightness is definitely good. Uh, what about colors? I, what I can see is it works, looks nice definitely looks nice. Oh, and you can see we got the Android operating buttons, the menu buttons on screen, so no buttons beneath the screen. And another thing, there is a black frame between the display and the white border. It's maybe a little bit thicker than on and other devices I know with a, fr a white front, but this is still, it's still okay. And I personally don't care, I don't see that anymore, but it's there. So if you don't like this, definitely make sure you get the black uh, version of this device. So next step, oh, fingerprint sensor. Let's figure, ooh, this was nice, works, works fast. Three, two, one, push, yes, nice, nice speed. Um, this is a nice thing to, to see because uh, I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same. Most of this uh, got the same hardware than on the Xiaomi uh, A1. And on the A1, the fingerprint sensor or the system leads way longer to, to wake up than, than on this device. So this is definitely a problem with Android 1. We have already seen the HTC U11 Live, which is also an Android 1 device. So now we've seen a lot uh, operating the device. First impression about speed, it's smooth it's definitely smooth no problems here no questions um one last thing what about the camera camera is the thing i'm not you don't don't get your expectations high about the camera because uh, we already know from the from the a1 the xiaomi camera is not always the best even of course you have to, to you have to keep the 200 or less than, way less than 200 euros in mind. But still other devices in this price range sometimes or most of the time or often give you better camera quality. Yes, definitely. The SIM card tray tool is not sharp. Uh, and I, 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 I 
focused on that and it's not sharp this is something i noticed a lot this is also yes this one is sharp sometimes some areas yes but most of the time it's not the part that i'm i'm focused on is the, the, the thing that's sharp it's a little bit hmm. okay but i still have to see what about camera quality oh let's start a video this should be full hd and I just keep talking and we just use this recording to see if the recording is smooth and what about the audio and speaker quality. So let's listening. Let's turn up the media volume. Yes. And I just keep talking and we just use this recording to see if the recording is smooth and what about the audio and speaker quality. Oh, speaker quality and audio quality, thumbs up, yes, but picture quality and the smoothness of the picture, of the video, no, no, no. Maybe maybe the next update will do a trick. Um, let's see settings of the recording. Uh, video quality was full HD. We also could use 4, 4K, but still, this was not the best quality maybe focus mode should be not um, autofocus but tap let's 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 give it another try just just because for the for the smoothness maybe it was trying to autofocus all the time so we do this again just a little bit with another option and now we see maybe it was trying to autofocus all the time so oh yes again, yes this that's the trick so this was the, definitely the autofocus who tried to focus the automatically the whole time. Um, this is it. And let's quick quick selfie here. Uh, not not a video, just a picture. Hey. And another thing, we got got this front facing. <laughs> I looked into it. Uh, we got this front facing LED light, which is located on the left side. And let's see, and this is, yes, normal picture selfie quality for a 5 megapixel camera. So this is again fine. So overall, overall, really nice first impression of the device, definitely. And I keep, keep the price in mind, 160 euros. This is definitely something I'm, I'm... I can't. I can't really complain. Even if the, if you, even if you only get the mediocre camera quality, even for those this price range of around two hundred euros, for a price of one hundred sixty, I won't complain that much. But keep in mind, if you, if, if camera, if picture quality is your main thing, maybe this is not the device for you. But in every other case, you definitely are. I'm pretty sure. Uh, that Xiaomi got something nice here with the Redmi 5 Plus or with the Redmi Note 5 as this is known as well. So this is it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.